And who do you think you're kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. The Scots didn't like it very much, never mind. Dad's army to me is like a national treasure. Everything about it is funny, isn't it? It's a, an essential part of our, of our lives, I think. And it goes across all the age ranges, of course. Children love it and their great-grandparents love it. I'll catch him, sir. What does he look like? We don't know, Frank. That's rather the point with spies. Stupid boy. David and Jimmy wrote some brilliant characters and it's interesting to see other people having a go at playing them. What each actor has done is retain something that is so specific to the original character, which is essential. Toby's performance is the perfect balance because it's absolutely nothing to do with Arthur Lowe and absolutely everything to do with Arthur Lowe. Captain Mannering, the Morris dancers have booked the hall for one o'clock. There is a war on, you know, Vicar. And it's very um, touching to see Frank Williams berating Captain Mannering. It's absolutely amazing to be here, taking me back to the happiest time of my life. I'm glad there's a second actor playing Pike. You know, it's, it's not mine, it's not me. That's the, I played it once, and Blake's playing it now. Rather splendidly, I think, quite honestly. I'm a man. Ooh, cake! Back to the pink one! It's not a remake, it's a new film using characters that exist in, if you like, literature. And then when you saw the cast, you were wow! <laughs> so you have these um, accident-prone characters confronted with uh, epic stakes. I think this gives the, the story enough difference in scale from the TV show to give us a good chance of making it its own thing while at the same time honouring the idiots that we're all so fond of. When I read the script, I thought it was great. They'd got the idea, they'd got the characters, they got it right. <laughs>